Now we are heading to the pitching competition. There's going to be six of you that are going to come to the front and you're going to be given two minutes who will pitch your business, yeah, how, tell us about your business, what you do, etc., etc. And then we are giving away quite a lot of money. Quite a lot of money to the winner. The winner will walk away with more than 20,000. More. Today. No. Alright. So, let me call up our finalists. Let me call up our finalists. Uh. All right. When they come to the front, please come this side, right? Please come this side. If I call you and you are sitting on this side, please just go to the back and then come the other way because we're live streaming and we don't want to disturb that and we want to keep engaging with our online audience. Uh, the first individual is Llewellyn. Vomarens. Llewellyn, are you here? Llewellyn is here. Let's show some love to Llewellyn. Darim Shapeleng Matsoho. Llewellyn is ready. Don't tell me to check it. I want to know. No. All right, my brother, please take center. Can we get the other mic, please? All right, thank you, brother. Yeah, so we'll, we'll give you a countdown, eh? but take center stage. That's it, yeah. How much time do you have? You've got three minutes. Three minutes, yeah. So we'll give you the countdown. Let's, we'll give you the countdown, and then you'll go. Mic's off. Is it on? Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Let's show some love. Let's show some love. Let's show some love. Let's show some love. Let's, some love. let's go. And in three, two, one, action. Good morning, everyone. My name is Llewellyn Vormarans co-founder and managing director of Bukoni Fuels. Bukoni Fuels is a wholesale licensed petroleum company based in Rustenburg. And what encouraged the name is our province. We are proud to be Banabamo Bukoni, hence Bukoni Fuels. Now, Bukoni Fuels manufactures biodiesel, supplies petrol, lubricants, as well as paraffin. Our current niche and demand product is paraffin, particularly in our townships and rural areas. The reason for the demand is mainly because of our current circumstance and situation with the ongoing load shedding, as well as constant increase of energy prices within our country. Now, the reality of the matter is that our people in townships and rural areas cannot afford solar panels, as we all know that they are expensive, and in fact, they just keep on becoming more and more expensive by the year. I'm talking today, tomorrow, next week, next year. Our people in rural areas and townships cannot afford that. Life is expensive. So this is how we assist people in our townships and rural areas as an alternative source of energy for them to be able to have a warm meal, a warm cup of tea, like we all desire. So, now what we need as Bukoin and what would assist us if we do win this 50,000 Rand, it would assist us to be able to supply more volumes and be able to reach out to more rural areas. What sets us apart and different from our competitors is that we, we are one of the very few black petroleum wholesale license holders. And we go into our rural areas. We know the struggle of our people. We know exactly where to go to. So winning this competition would assist us to be able to buy a Bowser at the moment we are supplying using a bucket. A bucket can only take about 300 liters. 
Sometimes it requires us to make double trips. Double trips are costly to the business. You'd find ourselves to a point where we break even and worst case scenario having to work out a loss due to costs of travel. So having a Bowser would mean that we'd have additional volumes. We can supply more communities and distributors within rural areas in our townships. That would subsequently mean an increase in employment as well as stimulating our local economy. Thank you. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Let's show some love. Let's show some love. Let's show some love. All right. Number two. Murekulodi from Mansimela Enterprise. You're here, my brother. You you know, you can see man motala le pitching face. And that's more than shave, and I shave, and shave. I want to know you don't pitch. I know. So let's show him some love. morning ladies and gentlemen by the end of this event today close to six women will be raped close to 10 children will be going missing in this country it is reported that every six minutes in south africa a woman gets raped or becomes a victim of gbv crimes so we as man salama enterprise have come up with a solution for the problem we have developed an app called the salama app the Salama app is an emergency app which you can just use with an easy e panic use. It is an app for victims of GBV. It is a stealth app that means your partner who might be abusing you in your house might not be able to see the app as it does not show on your phone. You add the app even when your phone is low. It will work in the background. You add up to five emergency contacts. In a case of emergency, just by shaking your phone, your phone will alert all your emergency contacts, alert the nearest SAPS to your location, start recording the event that's happening, and send an alert to Man Salama Enterprise. At Man Salama Enterprise, we then deploy our drone to your location to assess the victims and also direct the police of what's happening. What happens if you don't have a phone? If you don't have a phone, we have developed a small alarm for the persons. We have what we call the Salema sound, which is a device for tracking you in case your child gets kidnapped. If your child is kidnapped with this, he has to insert three voice commands. For example, if I say blue t-shirt is an emergency code. When I'm kidnapped, hijacked in a crime scene, just by saying, blue t-shirt, I'll be activating the Salema voice. With these two, they will be integrated with the app. So currently we have the app on Firebase and we currently need support of about 25,000 to get it fully functional on the Play Store. We have had the app since last year, November. So with this support, we'll be able to hire immediate two developers will be able to have the app internationally so, as it's allowed in 71 countries already. It has already assisted close to 48 uh, testers that have used the app since November. We have been able to track close to six children using the Salema app. How do we make money currently? We currently make money by having what is called the Salema bracelet and the Salema belt. It is a laser printed belt or bracelet with your initials. Should your kid go missing and we find him, whoever finds him contacts us and we contact you, making life easy for you. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Murekuludi Salema Mankurani. Thank you. Good luck to the judges. <laughs> wow. All right. Next up, we have Matsepo Mulozi from Kiba Skin Organic Skin Care. 
Thank you so much. She's coming to the front. Please, let's show her some love. So far, so good. We're enjoying, yeah? Yeah? We're learning, yeah? And these are businesses that are happening right here, Moka, in the township, which is truly amazing. Matepo, you okay? Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am Matepo Muluzi, the founder of Give Our Skin Organic Skin Care. I'm a creative, I'm a spiritualist, I'm a multi-award nominated entrepreneur. I hold a degree in architecture. I'm a self-taught makeup artist and graphic designer. I'm a beauty and style enthusiast and an entrepreneur by passion. Giba is a Sitwana name which comes from my late mother's name, Giba Gai, who I lost to COVID in December 2020 and then launched my business four months after I buried her on her birthday on the 18th of April, 2021. I named my brand after her as she contributed a lot in my passion for the beauty industry. The Giba Skin range consists of 14 organic, cruelty-free, eco-friendly and uh, eco-friendly products which are both for the face and the body, for all skin types, and for both women and men. Our products target skin issues like pigmentation, acne, dry skin, eczema, oily skin, dark marks, and gives a natural overall glow. Kiva Skin is a brand that inspires a new, luxurious, yet affordable beauty and skincare lifestyle. We want to be known for quality, luxury, and affordability. The element of luxury is evident in our product quality, the packaging, the presentation, and our branding. Not only do we offer quality, luxurious, and affordable products, but our brand also adds motivational and empowering value to the aspiring entrepreneurs in my community to turn their adverse situations into entrepreneurial opportunities. As someone who was bullied because of a skin condition I had no control over, I can relate and understand how a skin issue can affect your self-confidence and lower your self-esteem, and this is the case with most of my makeup clients. My solution is to sell healing, healing in all forms, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Some of our marketing strategies are social media, especially Instagram, influencer marketing, events, and goodie bags, magazine advertorials, and exhibitions. As I am in the process of getting my products into retail chain stores, winning the grand prize will assist my business with obtaining barcodes, registering for VAT, product testing, and registering with Proudly South African. Some of my business achievements in the past two years are, I've obtained a certificate in business and entrepreneurship from Young African Leadership Institute. I've been on magazine covers and international publications. I have been nominated for both local and international awards. I've been on radio interviews and I've been recognized as one of the 50 most memorable women in South Africa. Please do visit our exhibition table at the back and our social media handle is at Skin on both Facebook and Instagram. Thank you. One more time, a round of applause. We're going to number four now. Honest, honest, yeah, honest. Honest, are you here? Honest, honest. From dark blue, neuro PTY LTD. Honest. Honest, are you? Ah, honest. Honest, you tell what? All right, let's move. Uh, Tawana from Black Empire Trading. Are you here? You're here, my brother. Come through, come through, come take center stage, my man. Let's show him some love. Let's show him some love. Let's show him some love. Um, oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go, let's go in three, two, one, action. 
Um, good morning, everyone. My name is Lesego Tawana from Black Empire Trading and Project. I'm from a small village surrounding Rustenburg in Liedach. Um, I run a branding and designing company and an ice making and supplying company in Liedach. Um, I have a small initiative called the Black Empire Initiative that I run in rural areas surrounding like Muruling, Lerome, um, Tatlachanyani, Duelachte, and Liedach. What I do for my branding and designing company um, I, I design jerseys and metric jackets for students who are less fortunate in schools like Lierach and Tatlachayan and all those surrounding areas, right? So um, what I need right now is uh, finances because I'm having problems with uh, electricity where I stay in Lierach. So now my branding and designing team cannot um, be fully functional because of that. As winter has approached, it's already here. There's kids from Itumeleng Secondary School that have already um, given 50 JZ so far that I still need 120 to provide before July. So I need to buy a generator, I need to buy more machinery, and I need to employ more um, young people from my surrounding um, communities in Lierach and Ruling to actually be able to... Um, sorry, can I please have a minute? <laughs> Right, so um, I'm gonna need um, a generator, I'm gonna need a branding machine, a printing machine, and a designing machine again, so that I can be able to finish that 120 jerseys to provide for Itumele Secondary School by June, by uh, July, sorry. How I make money from my branding and designing part, um, schools like Holy Family, Fields, Meridian, um, I make metric jackets for those schools, um, sell them for a good price, that's how I make money to, um, sustain my company and pay my employees. My branding, uh, my I supply uh, business, I supply Sun City, uh, which is well known in Lerach and Kwamaritan. I'm having problems because now my fridges cannot operate 24 seven because of the load shedding. Now I'm having melt and that's a set, it causes a setback in my company. So with this prize money, I'd actually um, be grateful to win it so that I can buy a generator, make sure that I, um, uh, achieve that goal of 120 jerseys to provide for the schools that are less fortunate and make sure that my business is sustainable so that I can um, make my ice be frozen all the time so that I can supply to those companies. Thank you. One more time, round of applause. By a show of hands, before I call up number four, how many of you, your business has been badly, badly afflicted by load shedding? Your sales have gone down. Sometimes you can't do what you need to do, ne? Because of load shedding, right? How many of you would do with a, uh, uh, giving away, I was about to say you're giving away electricity. Um, what is a so it's a solar panel, eh? Mom, please. The solar panel, no? an, an inverter box, an inverter box. All right, so, inverter box or generator. Yeah, that would help your business, no? so much. Yeah? Well, guess what? NetBank is giving away an inverter or a generator. Yeah? To, 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 uh, yeah, but what you need to do, oh, hey, it's like, uh, where are these people from NetBank? I want to see them. Now, what you need to do, and we're encouraging you to do this, please, 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 on Facebook or on Twitter, share your experience, how it's affected your business, and what you're going to need it for. And then we're going to decide from the social media experience who we're giving it to. We're together? So please go on our social media pages, uh, tag T, Tag NetBank as well. Use the hashtags, our two hashtags, so that we can identify you, and then we'll make a decision on who we're giving that away to. Helpful? Yeah? All right. Just give NetBank a round of applause, man. A bank that really cares, yeah? <clears throat> All right, we've got two more, and then we are done with the pitching, and we're going to hear from our experts on uh, pricing and credit management, etc. But so far, we're having a good time. We're still together, ne? All right. Uh, Chiseto, Rampiti from Ramps. Chiseto, are you here? 
Yeah, my brother, please come through. While he's having a sip of water and mentally preparing himself, he's like, I know. Come again, I know. Please, let's give him a round of applause. Please come through that way, my brother. Come through, come through, come through, come through. More and more people are joining us. I see it's getting packed. Really, really appreciate it. Um, well, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Hello. Are we going to take this? Let's go, and in three, two, one. Uh, hello, and good morning. My name is Tehe Zorampete, and I'm from Ramscon. I'm a creative director and founder at Ramscon. Ramscon is a full-service creative agency with um, nine years combined experience in creative as well as digital projects. Um, we offer a wide array of services ranging from branding, web design, and development, and digital marketing. Now, I want you all to take this moment and envision your dream brand identity what you want it to look like, what you want it to feel like, as well as perceive. Now, it's my job at Ramscon to make sure that that dream becomes a reality for you. Um, working with you to build your brand. Thank you. They were like, that's it. People are enjoying, you can look at people's reaction, like, and then he's, he's done. Short and sweet. Short and sweet, ne? Let's give him a round of applause. Debsa. Are they up? All right, so a lot of you have been tweeting, sharing the hashtag. Still a lot of prizes to give away today. What's going to go up very soon from the team is a Twitter tracker. So we're tracking all the hashtags. Hashtag join us for tea. Hashtag together, Beke Libeke. Please continue sharing that. And we'll be giving out a lot more prizes today. It's up. Can we look at the screens? So we are tracking. We are tracking. I'll be able to read quite a bit, a few of them as the program continues. Let's move on to our last picture. Simpiwe. Simpiwe, yeah? From Luke's Holding. Dressed like a picture. Oh, you can see it means business. Even the walk. Ah, 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 ah. Let's give a round of applause. Let's show some love for Simpiwe. Good morning, everyone. My name is Simpe Nguna, and I'm the director of Nooks Holdings. Nooks Holdings is developing a security services to help surrounding mines, businesses, and tax industry, and society at large to combat and prevent, uh, uh, to, to combat and prevent crime. Nooks Holdings specializes in security services. At Nux Holdings, what we offer, we offer security services such as uh, dope bouncer for, for public event, security guard division. Nux Holdings is available. Uh, actually, I'm looking for investors to invest in Nux Holdings and, and partnership with, with Nux Holdings. With this, with this 50,000, if Nooks Holdings can win this 50,000, which I believe I will win. 
With this 50,000, I will buy some, some company assets. I'm shorting off uh, some computers so that the staff can work because now we're using one, uh, one laptop in my office. And then Nooks Holdings is situated at Moinoy, number 11, Alex Avenue. And uh, you can also visit our website to see who we are and what we do. The website is Nooks Holdings. Is, is holdings.co.za and also you can also find us at all social media platforms such as facebook is at nooks is nooks holdings at facebook on twitter is nooks holdings as well on we do we have the youtube channel at nooks holdings and also we do have our our contact details is uh, the telephone number is 0100234771 and email is info at nooksholdings.co.za. I thank you for this opportunity to pitch. I thank you. This man is, you know, his passion for his business. Even the name, like the way he says it, 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 it there must be a Please, can we give him a round of applause? We d sorry, we, we made a mistake. Uh, we've got one final picture. Uh, just his name, her name, sorry. I don't think it's on the, the pitching list. Uh, apologies from our side. Leave it to like in Newo, Chabaka. Newo is our final, final picture. To our online audience as well, you've been sharing the love and what we're doing, and people are catching it. There's people from Namibia that are watching what is happening here. So your business is getting exposed international. Sky liberal at when you're doing money and dollars and what, what. But please continue sharing the love. A lot more prizes to still give away. Hashtag join us for tea. Hashtag together, big, really big. Our last final picture, Newo. Chabaka, please come on stage. Go back to my talk and we show some love. Please come. Good morning, everybody. Um, thank you for having me. My name is Masoko Jabaka. I am a 25-year-old and fine founder of Spick and Span Laundry Room. Spick and Span Laundry Room has been operating for two years now, since 2021. It was founded um, through heartbreak because I had lost my mother and I did not have a job. I did not know what I was going to do with myself. I started the business and uh, the brand was received so well by the people of Rustenburg. The brand is a laundry business that provides services that range from clothes to shoes, bedding, carpets, and industrial washes such as your PPE and blankets, clothes, and everything that comes from B&Bs and hotels. Our unique selling point is the fact that we are adaptive. We are adaptive to the situations that we face as the people of South Africa. A perfect example I can give is one of our packages, which is the monthly, monthly hanger. The monthly hanger is a monthly package where you bring your laundry every week for four weeks and you pay only at the end of the month. This is to bridge the gap between not having money during the month, but having to do your laundry. In this way, we build relationships with our clients. We build relationships with the public to say that we are here for you. We can bridge that gap and you can be with us and pay us at the end of the month. Another way we are bridging the gap is that our traditional laundromats do not have pickup and delivery services. This is something that we have in our packages. If we could win this competition, it would be a great help in making sure that we have equipment in our laundry, laundry room and that we can get water tanks because instead of load shedding, our problem is water. We can go a whole week without water. I am based in Rustenburg North. And if we could win this pitch uh, presentation, we could be able to get a tank where we will keep 
operating even when there is no water. <coughs> the way we make money right now is we have a client base, people who come to us to wash their clothes, to wash their shoes, to wash their carpets and their bedding. We have a proper client base that we are sure of every month that is going to come to us. We, we are appreciative of the loyalty and we make sure to build that kind of a relationship with our clients. Thank you very much. Good luck to our judges. Let's give our pitching finalists a round of applause. <laughs> All right, we're still together. Né? We've come to that part of the program where we have to announce who the winner is. Let's start. All right, so, um, please come. All right, so, um, please come. All right, so we'll start with position number seven. Can we get a drum roll, please? T-shirt, oh. T-shirt, oh. Please, can we just give him a round of applause? Short and sweet. Congratulations, my brother. Please just take center stage. Yes, 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 sir. Look into the camera. All right, let's move to position number six. Drum roll, please, for position number six. Position number six is Simpiwe. Simpiwe. Please take, stand in the center. It's the walk, it's the confidence, it's the click, it's, it's the dress, it's the blazer. Thank you so much, my brother. All right, we go now to position number five. Drum roll, please. Position number five is Lesejo. Lesejo. We're getting closer and closer. All right, congratulations, my brother. Congratulations, Chapel Matoho. All right, now we're down to position number four. Position number four is Matepo. Matepo. All right, we're heading to what's what's position three? Is it, it's bronze, ne? Bronze, bronze, and silver. Congratulations one more time, uh, Matepo. All right, position number three. Position number three is Llewellyn. Congratulations. 
Congratulations, my brother. One more time, a round of applause for Llewellyn. We thank we're good. All right. Please, could I have the envelope for position number one and two? Position number one and two is can the two finalists please come to the front? Neo and Moreki Lodi. As they coming, as they coming, as they coming, let's show them love. Let's show them love. Sure. No, don't stand next to each other. Yeah. It's, it's quite intense, right? All right. Please come to the front, Jen. Please come to the front. All right. So I will announce the winner. All right. Speakers as well, please. Once we're done announcing, please come to the stage, yeah? All right, so I'm going to announce the winner. And once I'm done announcing the winner, uh, I'm going to ask the winner to just go back there um, so that whoever is number two can take a picture and then you come back. But you must act like you don't know that you won if you win, like it didn't happen, you know. All right, so let me announce the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the pitching competition that walks away with the grand prize of 50,000 Rand is Neo! No, come through, my brother. Come through. Come through. Come through. Congratulations once again. Congratulations, my brother. Please let's show him some love. A big thank you once again to Brand South Africa for making this possible. Really, really, really appreciate it. All right. The winner is Neo. All right, I've been given an instruction from the team to please do a drum roll for her, for the winner, as I announce it again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the pitching competition, walking away with the grand prize of 50,000 is Neho! <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Now stay, please stay on stage. A picture. A big, big thank you once again to Brand South Africa for making this possible. Um, and, and, and the gifts that came out to all the finalists. I want to tell you an interesting story, actually. Are we done with anyone? Yeah, okay, please come to the front. Just, just you alone. I think we are we done with photos. Can our speakers and our VIPs go off stage? We done. We done. Okay, we done now. When I stay, stay. No, that's my. That's my. 
Come down. Just stand up. Stand up. Stand up. So she came late. And she said to me, I, I am not confident. I don't want to do this today. I said, go for it. She said, no, no, no. And then she moved and she went there. But she took up the courage. And she did it. The inner voice was saying, don't do it. Don't do it. But she eventually convinced herself and she did it. So congratulations. What would you like to say to um, other entrepreneurs who are in the building? Words of encouragement. The only thing I can say right now is to never give up. Never give up. Congratulations once again. Yeah, it's because you won. You can take the mic again. <laughs> and thank you so much to everyone and the production team for this amazing event. Thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. We could let me.